never go away. That Spirit of God poured on us. At our confirmations. Again, the Spirit was poured out upon us. To strengthen us in our faith. To help us be able to go out and do the work of Jesus. Because the mission that he gave to his apostles porque la misión que le dio a sus apóstoles is the same mission that he gives to us es la misma misión que nos da a nosotros to preach the gospel throughout the world predicar el evangelio en todo el mundo we have been baptized into Jesus hemos sido bautizados en Jesús and baptized into his mission y bautizados en su misión we receive that spirit of Jesus Recibimos el Espíritu de Jesús. when we come to the Eucharist. Cuando venimos a la Eucaristía. And I know that we have been taught y sé que se nos ha enseñado that what we receive is the body and blood, que lo que recibimos es el cuerpo y the la soul carne, and divinity el alma y la divinidad of Jesus. De Jesús. And so we think only in terms of Jesus, Así que solo pensamos en términos de Jesús. the second person of the Trinity. La segunda persona de la Trinidad. But you cannot separate the Father from the Son from the Spirit. Pero no puede separar el Padre del Hijo del Espíritu. They are all together as one. Están todos juntos en uno. And so when we receive Jesus, Así que cuando recibimos a Jesús, and we do, y lo hacemos, we receive the Father and the Spirit as well. Recibimos al Padre y al Espíritu también. And so what we receive here Así que lo que recibimos aquí, is the food that we need to do the work that we have been called to do. And we have work to do. Y tenemos trabajo que hacer. The world needs to hear the gospel of Christ now more than ever. El mundo necesita escuchar el evangelio de, de Cristo ahora más que nunca. But so often, Pero muchas veces, we're like those apostles we hear about in today's first reading. Somos como esos apóstoles que escuchamos hoy en la, en la primera lectura. We stand looking up at the sky. Nos quedamos viendo al cielo. Wondering what to do next. Preguntándonos qué hacer después. But we have work to do. Pero tenemos trabajo que hacer. When you go to your job tomorrow. Cuando vayan a su trabajo mañana. You have work to do. Tienen trabajo que hacer. And you can't stand there and wait for somebody else to come along and do it. Y no puedes they expect you to do your job and Christ expects us to do our jobs as well the apostles did it and we can do it you see they weren't very highly educated men they weren't the smartest people of their time most of them were fishermen Simon the Zealot was a merchant Matthew was a tax collector and they hated tax collectors and later on Paul joined them and Paul was known for persecuting Christians in the beginning they wouldn't even trust him because they weren't sure of his intentions but that band of ordinary men have done extraordinary things through the power of the Holy Spirit and we are called to do the same but we have to stop waiting for somebody else to do it we can let Father Jose do it he's a priest we can let Deacon Jesse do it he's a deacon but Jose Labastida and Jesse Watley are ordinary men who have been gifted with the power of the Holy Spirit there's nothing special about him there's nothing special about me except that we are open to doing the work that God has asked us to do ordinary people like you